Hi everyone, this is SteriPen Classic 3, the updated version of our classic model, the best selling UV water purifier of all time. Whether you're at a high alpine stream or on a far flung international adventure with questionable tap water, the 90 seconds it takes to watch this video is all you need to purify a liter of water. This AA battery powered SteriPen is awesomely effective. The UV light actually changes the DNA of microorganisms in water so they can't reproduce and make you sick. It's the only portable water treatment that's received the Water Quality Association's Gold Seal, certifying that it's effective against over 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. Classic 3 is backed with the SteriPen Premium Lamp Life Pledge. If you use all 8,000 treatments the lamp is designed for, SteriPen will provide you a replacement. Treating your water is a super easy process. First, fill up your water bottle. You'll want to use the included pre-filter if the water is cloudy or has any debris. Next, remove the lamp cover and push the button once to treat a half liter or twice for a full liter. Stick the lamp into the water and stir while the UV light starts destroying all the little critters that can make you sick. Your water is ready to drink as soon as the UV lamp turns off and the green light flashes. It's that easy to treat your water. No pumping, no waiting for chemicals to work, and no foul taste. SteriPen Classic 3 gives you safe water quickly, anywhere, anytime.
This is an introduction to the Teton Sports Altos S Ultralight Mummy Bag. When so many manufacturing processes are high on waste and low on sustainability, we bring you the Altos S, a true backcountry sleeping bag with a positive environmental impact. It's made of both natural and recycled materials with a cleaner and more efficient manufacturing process. The Altos S Ultralight Mummy Bag is an extra large mummy bag that comes in two different temperature ratings. The Burnt Orange, plus 20 degree Fahrenheit, and the Teton Orange, zero degree Fahrenheit. It's filled with down light synthetic Spectrum S fill that is warmer than traditional fill so it keeps you warm in cold temperatures without sacrificing comfort. You'll sleep even more soundly knowing we made it from natural and recycled materials. It's extremely packable and lightweight, but still provides a thick, warm loft to capture warm air and provide exceptional comfort. The 20D shell and liner are both ultra lightweight and comfortable. The three-piece hood pulls in to contour to your face and keeps your ears and head tucked in and warm. The Altos S unzips from the top and bottom with both interior and exterior zipper pulls making it easy to get in and out of the bag. The zippers are fully taped with an anti-snag design and a full-length zipper draft tube. The hang loops on the exterior of the mummy bag allow for easy hanging storage when not in use. The included compression sack makes packing quick and easy. It's made for those who are environmentally friendly campers and backpackers. It's sustainable for the planet and comes at a lower cost to you. It's a win-win-win for the world. The Altos S Ultralight Mummy Bag, like all Teton Sports products, comes with our limited lifetime warranty, which is our promise to you that you can count on us. If you ever have any issues, please reach out to our awesome customer service team and we'll get you back outdoors and on the trail. And that's an introduction to the Teton Sports Altos S Ultralight Mummy Bag. Get outdoors and enjoy life. Escape to your happy place without sacrificing the comforts of home with the Galactic Sleeping Pad, built to keep you comfortable and warm wherever you choose to rest your head. This self-inflating sleeping pad fits up to 6'6 six six campers and pairs perfectly with any of our rectangular sleeping bags. The dual brass valves help this luxurious pad inflate quickly or deflate with ease. At two and a half inches thick, it will cushion you comfortably through the night. And with the 6.9 R value, it will keep you insulated from the chill of the ground and toasty warm. This pad features a durable polyester punji shell and includes a carry sack, making it easy to pack away after a good night's rest. Wake up a happy camper with the uber comfortable galactic sleeping pad from Kelty. Hi, I'm Andrew Skirka with Sierra Designs. I'm really excited to talk to you today about the Hyroot tent. In designing it, I essentially wanted a, a single shelter that I could use on all of my solo backpacking trips. The Hyroot tent excels in challenging three season conditions. So when it's really rainy, windy, buggy, hot and humid, wet, and it can also withstand moderate winter weather. At two and a quarter to two and a half pounds, depending on how you have it configured, the Hyroot tent is acceptably light for mild conditions as well especially for individuals who want or need extra room to spread out. The High Root is a double wall tent, which means that it's going to handle moisture and condensation much better than a single wall. It also means that the components can be used independently. So for instance, on a hot and dry summer night, you can sleep just inside the inner tent body. And then the fly you can use with a ground sheet or with a bivy sack if conditions don't warrant a full inner tent body. You can also use it in the winter time as a roof over a snow pit. The high route has a very storm resistant design. Assuming both doors are closed, you have full side of protection. You have a very taut ridge line due to this predetermined catenary curve. All of the side panels are either steeply sloping or completely vertical. The, both side doors are reinforced by trekking poles, which is located right here. And if you're in really stormy weather, you have one extra tie out on the roof in order to give this some extra tension. The Hyru is an extremely roomy one person shelter. 
let's start by talking about the fly. It's four feet wide, it's nine feet long, it's four feet tall. So you have 36 square feet of space. That's comparable to most two-person double wall ultralight tents, and it's way bigger than any one-person tent. 36 square feet of space, at that point you don't need vestibules. Uh, it's big enough for you and a lot of gear, or you and a dog, or two people if you're not using the inner tent body. Not only do you have 36 square feet of space and four feet of, four feet of room, but it's also a really usable space. Because of the way the poles are positioned here, and then it's offset on the other side over here, they don't intersect the sleeping area, and they, um, and they also don't block the entranceways. And then because the walls are either vertical or steeply angled, you don't lose a lot of perimeter space like you would with a shelter that has lower angle sidewalls. The high root tent is well ventilated. If it's not rainy and if it's not windy, I'd encourage you to leave the side doors open like this one here. And you can see I've also opened up the other side as well while you weren't looking. That will allow a nice cross breeze through the shelter. If it is raining, but you still want ventilation and if the wind isn't too strong, these side doors are designed to be porched. And we included a stake for you to do this. And this will give you a little bit of extra room for stuff if you want, but more importantly, it'll just um, allow nice airflow still through this area. You get a little bit of additional coverage to this five inch awning. If, if, it, if the wind is a little bit stronger and you don't want the thing fully open, you can use the side release buckle in order to take tension off the zipper. And again, stake this out. And finally, if it's really windy and you need just to button this thing up, you can go ahead and do that, but you won't lose your ventilation entirely. You'll have ventilation through the five inch awning vent. There's some bug mesh up here. You'll still have ventilation along the perimeter. And when you pitch it, you can actually pitch the shelter to be a little higher off the ground to have more ventilation. And then we also included a double zipper here. And just by having the zipper open like this, you'll get quite a bit of airflow in windy conditions through the shelter. Final thing I wanna show you is the inner tent body. The inner tent body is two and a half feet wide. It's seven and a half feet long. So there's plenty of space in here for a full size sleeping pad, including the wider 25 inch pads. And you still have a little bit of elbow room. It has a bathtub floor in the case that your campsite has rain soaked ground. And there will always be at least one and a half feet inside the, or underneath the fly, but outside the interior tent body for uh, cooking dinner or making some coffee or just to store wet gear. Yeah.